Hey guys, it's Jess. So what I do when I get a little bit of I start to fiddle with my fingers. Uh, today I wanted to do a video to show everyone the, some of the pots that I keep my plants in. I've got some uh, different pots that I've painted and I thought it'd be nice to share it with everyone. And I've had some questions um, when I do post pictures of uh, some of these pots people do ask um, how do we how do I paint them what type of paint do I use how do I make sure the color doesn't run off so I thought I'd talk a little bit about that as well so I've got I think I've got about one two three four five six seven eight I've got eight different um, pots that I painted and um, made that I wanted to show everyone I might start with the smallest one first so this is a um, banana pot that I'd painted uh, because I wanted to to house my string of bananas uh, my dad actually took away my well he didn't take away he's sort of he's liked my string of bananas he's got them hanging up um, under the veranda but I think when springtime comes I want to take a bit of it and, and put him in this pot so yeah just some simple bananas on a white background the next pot that I have is, I want to show you guys, is this one for my whale fin Sansevieria. This is another pot I painted. It's bigger than the last one. Um, I really was inspired of uh, from this Australian clothing brand called Gorman, uh, who really puts out some awesome funky prints. And so they came out with a print like this, and I just really liked it. So I thought I just put it in, I thought I painted it on a pot. And so he houses my whale fin. Normally, um, what I do with these pots to, to prep them, so I buy these pots from our local hardware store and they're about a dollar each. They're 17 inch pots for the big ones. Uh, for the smaller ones, I think they're the 12 inch pots. So this is the 17th inch, this is the 12 inch pot. And then I would wipe the terracotta pot down with some cloth not with some paper towels because the paper towels the fiber rubs off and it becomes very hard to remove and then I wait until that dries before I go over it with a white base so all of these pots you'll see even the color ones have a white base because I think that um, brings out the colored background a little bit more and what do I mean by white base is that I just paint the pot white I just do a, a, um, a couple of coats of white paint before I go on top with colour. So the next pot that I, I guess I wanted to, I can show you guys, is this black spotty one that I've got for my uh, Black Raven ZZ. And this pot I actually painted for my plants. I got this black ZZ and then I had an idea of what I wanted um, him to sit in. And I thought a black pot would match um, this guy. So I did a uh, this uh, this pot actually. I didn't really do a uh, white base because black is such a intense color. So I just painted the entire pot in black and then just went over with some white spots. So this is another pot that I've done for my plants. And the next plant uh, pot that I wanted to show everyone is this octopus pot. Again, this is another one that's inspired by Gorman design. I really liked the blue or the pink against the blue. I think it's incredibly vibrant. This one, again, I think I had got my whale fin and I wanted to do a uh, ocean theme. And so I thought it'd be cool to, to put some tentacles um, on this pot. And so, um, as I was saying before about prepping the, the base color, I go over with a white and then in this case, because it's a colored background, um, sorry guys, I think I just paused a bit there because I just noticed that there was an airplane going over. So that might've been really loud. Um, so I think where I got up to was I explain, I was explaining about how I got the colored background. And I mentioned that I, for all of the colored background pots, I will do a coat or a couple of coats of white on a terracotta pot, um, just so it's a good base to build up a vibrant background. For the color background, so for example, this one and oh this guy i would have then put in a couple of coats of the color i want as the background um, before i would go over 
um, with the detail and so you've got to wait until the base color dries before for putting the detail on because you don't want the colors uh, to mix up together so that's pretty much the process I go through the colors I use or the paint I use rather it's um, acrylic so it's water-based acrylic it's nothing too fancy it's actually the cheapest uh, no I lie poster paint is actually cheaper than acrylic paint but I painted on pots using poster paint and I find that it's just no good because after a while the poster paint actually crackles and dries off and it falls off so it's not it's not it doesn't have a very um, long lasting uh, quality to it so I find acrylic paints are a cheap option which gives a quite a nice smooth finish and to be honest I've had this this guy this pot most of these pots sit outside and the, I find that the color retains pretty well with acrylic. So um, if you guys are not sure about the the type of paint to use, I I, I would suggest acrylic paints as a cheap um, option. So I've got two more painted pots to show you. This one is probably the first pot that I painted actually when I first started getting into painting pots. And actually, I don't know if this is I don't uh, I don't know if this is rude. Sorry guys, but um. I've got some nude ladies, uh, so I I just had an idea, um, and I wanted to paint this on a pot. Um, sorry, guys, if this is rude. Actually, it just occurred to me that might be inappropriate for some people, but um, nudes are often used as oh, well. Have, they've traditionally been um, considered a form of beauty in the art world, so. Um, I hope I've just translated it into houseplant land and I've just painted it on a pot so I hope nobody's offended. But this pot, this is like I said, the first um, pot design that I've done um, for myself. Uh, I really like the pink and the red background, I really like the design and he currently is home to my Monstera Siltificana. Um, and then the last pot that I've painted is this um, pot it's for um, one of my plant friends um, on Instagram his name is a plantman and it's just got a couple of pugs on it because he's got this bug called biscuit um, and for a period of time I think biscuit was a bit unwell and I think he was just he um, I think he needed to to sell off some of his plants which is a bit sad um, to just to fund some pet bills and so um, I've still yet to see him but I wanted to paint this pot to uh, cheer him up and um, yeah I guess this is one of the few pots I've done with a white background and so you really do with white particularly because it's such a light color you do have to put a couple of coats in to to build up a, a nice solid white background. Um, again, the paints used here are acrylic. I would mix them um, on a palette before I put them on. And oh, and maybe I'll talk a little bit about the drawings because some of the pots are not just paintings, but I've got drawings on them. I would just, after I paint the white base, then I'd go over with pencil. So I'd draw the pictures I want to paint in pencil before I just colored them in using paint. The, oh, the one last thing is the glaze because acrylic is water-based. It's a water-based uh, paint and so it would wash off. So what I use to seal the color in is I use a sealant. So I just uh, do two coats over the uh, paint after it's dried and it gives it a nice shiny color. Guys, so this is the, the brand of sealant that I use. Um, I've got the, the glossy version here because I've used up the matte version, but it just looks like this. You can get it at um, your local arts and crafts store. And then I thought I'd just show you the acrylic brand that I use. Um, I don't discriminate between what um, brand of acrylic I use I normally just go for all the cheapest option so um, I think these ones are about five dollars each for this size so these are the sort of the materials I use plus paint brushes of course the last um, pot that I made not really painted but I think it was one of the one of the most fun of arts and craft um, activities that I did recently but I made this pom-pom pot it just makes me so happy what it is, it's just a pot that I've covered in pom-poms. 
the size of the pot is this a small size so 12 inch pot and I just decided to stick pom-poms all over it I think for a bag of 120 pom-poms it was three dollars and then I just used some super glue and so I just thought it was super cute guys do you like this is probably my favorite one <laughs> recently um he's currently home to my uh, Monstera Addisonii. Um, one thing to note that with these pots that I've painted, um, I do water them. I do water the plant that's in the pot. So I don't, so you can see that there's soil. I've potted, um, I've potted the plant in the pot. But with this pom pom pot, obviously because it's fabric based, when I water it, I've, I've got the nursery, I've got my plants still in the nursery pot. So I water this when this dries. I put them back into this guy. But yeah, this is my pom pom pot. You're so cute. You're so cute. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to show everyone is not something I um, created, but I thought I'd just um, show everyone the plant decor that I have. And it's just this fabric planter. One of my friends got me for my birthday recently. And yeah, I just think it's a fun, easy way to switch designs and planters for your pots because I've just got him, I've just got the plant sitting. So he's still in his nursery pot. But he just sits in this in this fabric planter. You probably can see that I really like colour. It's home to my pepperoni pepperomia obtusa at the moment. This is this plant is by an Australian brand, clothing brand called Gorman. I think I mentioned them a bit earlier. They're one of my favourite um, brands because they have such colourful um, designs. So yeah, this is this is another sort of colorful planter slash pot that I keep my plants in. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video of me showing my um, some of the colorful plant decor that I have. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, particularly on how I paint some of these pots, or if you're looking for some uh, tips, please let me know and let me know which pot you like. I really, I really do like painting. Um, these pots. I, I really like painting in general. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!